Hey guys, how's everyone doing? How's everyone's Friday going? How's it going? You want to go to a drinky poos? Cheers. So guys, um, we've had another late, we're doing another late live today because we were on Colourful Radio um, promoting our new single for life. So, um, so yeah, so that's the reason why we're doing another midnight session. So guys, can you um, share this live, share this broadcast? Let's get some people in the room, tweet it, oh, okay, like the video, it. yeah. Someone said, okay, Alame, it's given, I'm gonna take your man easy peasy. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. We literally came, just came from a radio station, so that's why we're, um, no, no, this, sometimes, this is sometimes, sometimes regular, regular. Sometimes, Alame just wears some stuff. So yeah, no need to no to no need to explain. Exactly. Mm, Thank you. Exactly. And it explains way too much. You know how you know how it is. Sometimes that's it. Sometimes the artist is just artisting. What are we art, drinking? Art, art, artisting. What artist. are we drinking? So <laughs> I don't drink it. So yeah. it's not as nice as mine. Well, it's whiskey. Oh, yeah. It's nice. It's, it's, it's whiskey. Yeah. It's whiskey. A whiskey mix. Whiskey and what? It's a single malt whiskey. Was it double malt? I think it's a single malt whiskey with seven up and a little bit of um strawberry cordial summer fruit summer fruits and cordial and ice it's nice it is very nice yeah yeah you tried you tried Vicon, all right guys and straw. okay let's get on with it now so let's do the introduction ready yeah kid oh, i need my fan oh this is on yeah. all right ready yeah. Hey YouTube, where did you shout it? I'm Anime. Okay. I'm Shay, and you're watching Shay TV. TV. So welcome to another reaction, guys. Um, can you share this broadcast and can you like this video? If you're on the stream now, like this video, guys. Give us a thumbs up. We need to get our likes up. Mm -hmm. And also, um, get people in here. Invite your friends and invite your not so friendly friends to come in. And can you like all of our social medias up here? Our Instagram, our Twitter, our Facebook, and our TikTok. And also, can you we do music? music. Hey guys, all of you here, I know you've probably heard our new single, but you can listen to it again and again and again and again. And watch all the videos. Exactly. So our single for life is out right now. The video we've got two visuals, we've got an official video and we've got an uncut version out right now on our Vivo. So go and check it out and stream it on all platforms. So so yeah, so welcome to um another reaction. So this is episode 33 mm -hmm. of season 10. So this was um the air that entire show. <laughs> yeah, I guess. It was yeah. pretty much Thai and enough. The thing is, I, I I probably would have enjoyed it more if I couldn't see through Ty's game yeah. plan. Do you know what it is? I think it's because I know that Ty as is reading from a script. It just feels really forced. I genuinely think that Ella is sincere. I, I, I just I just feel that I feel the insincer insincerity from Ty. And I think that's what it is. Because I think it's really, really cute. Um, however, their whole thing. Oh. However, the public are buying it, so for me, it's a win. Yeah. A black couple in a final, I'm here for it. Yeah, but I'm gonna keep it real. Yeah. So. I mean, it's definitely brought the drama. For yeah, sure. a world tie has, but yeah. I mean, wait, how did it actually start? Um, oh no, there was the bit. Oh, I actually put back for Ella. But the bit when Ty literally went in the morning and went to the kitchen when all the girls oh. were there, he goes, oh yeah, can I speak to you for a minute? And mm -hmm. Ella's like, oh me? He goes, no, no, Katie. Oh no, like, oh. And Ella was like, do you want your coffee? From then, I would have just... <laughs> the, do you know what it is with Ella? I feel like Ella has resigned herself to begging Ty. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like she's got used to the dynamics of the relationship. So now it's become normal for her, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Like that whole... Let me chase him, let me chase him, let me chase him. That whole dynamic has become normal to her. Mm. So even in that moment when he kind of made her look like a dickhead, she didn't, because don't forget, the night before, she tried to kiss him, he pushed her away. Mm. So, you know, well, that wasn't in front of a crowd. Too many L's. No, I know, but still, I'm just mm. saying that how I feel like she's got used to chasing Ty yeah. because she's been doing it for the first four weeks of their relationship. Mm. So, you know, I just think that she's got used to it. So to her, when he did that in the kitchen, she probably didn't even see, she probably didn't even think of anything about it. Mm. Cause she's still offering him coffee. Yeah, yeah. So to her, she's used to it now, yeah. isn't it? So unfortunately, he's trained her. He's trained her. She's gotten used to his behaviour. Mm. She's trained. He's trained her to get used to receiving attention from him from a, in a negative way, 
And unfortunately, she's passed with flying colours. Yeah. So, you know, she'll get tired soon though, but right I'll now, so. she will. He will get tired of her. Yeah. Not he'll, she he'll, he'll, she will never get tired of this. He'll definitely get tired of her first. Yeah. I feel like she'll get tired when she when she realises that she she has more options. I feel like yeah. right now, really, she had an option. Exactly. Uzi was an option. Yeah. She even liked him. But do you think that? Do you think that potentially though? Because the thing is, anybody in the villa knows that Ty is a big character. Mm. So do you think just this, in the same way that Ty knows that in order for him to win, his mm. only his only option of winning is being with Ty, uh, with being with uh, mm. Ella. Do you think Ella thinks the same thing? Do you think she thinks that oh, if I get my scale with Ty, because he's a big Mm. Because he's had a journey and he's a big character. It's like our love story. Like I feel like everybody in there is being strategic. I'll be honest with you, uh, me. I don't think Ella is even thinking that far. Uh, I think she's so even on the outside. I feel like she's so used to being guys yeah. treating yeah, her like this and her yeah, chasing yeah. them. Yeah. Like, I feel like that is her. That's how she's wired. Yeah. I don't think she's even thinking of the game in it because some of the things she's done, I don't think it yeah, would would help her to yeah. win. But because it's Ty, yeah. <sighs> Ty is the game's master, but she's just the pawn in his game. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Anyway, so, um, yeah, so that was the beginning. So he took KD away and basically was trying to persuade KD, KD to flirt with him mm. and basically get on his back. So <laughs> that was weird. This is your back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that was weird. That, that, that conversation was funny. Oh. <laughs> that was actually hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it just felt like, K, it feels like Casey is as, is as mad as he is. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because she knew that he's, she knows he's full of shit. Mm. But I just think she's bored, isn't it? She's mm. bored and it's kind of like, yeah, why not? So anyway, initially she ended up jumping on his back, agreeing to jump on his back. So they were playing some game in the pool. The, the pool game looked fun. Yeah, looked yeah, fun. Yeah, so yeah. all the girls were basically on the men's backs and the men were basically racing. That's, that's that looked so fun. Cute. That looked really fun. <laughs> um, so yeah, so she jumped on his back and... Um, Ella was watching while she was with somebody. She was with somebody on the day bed. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I think it was Jess. Jess. I think yeah. it was Jess. She was, Ella, Ella was just narrating for the whole program. <laughs> what he's doing? I can't believe he's doing that. Oh my God, look what he's doing. He's going to lose me. <sighs> lose you. Yeah. Man. So anyway, she was acting like she wasn't bothered, but she was bothered. And then after a while, she now went over to Whitney and Catherine and started oh. cussing again. They, all three of them just got beautiful oh. sitting there. Just, just all bodies. different shades. Oh. All their bodies are toned. Everyone just looked beautiful. Anyway, they were sitting there and she was basically saying, and you know, she's had enough, that she's gonna go and confront him. Mm. So she went over there to go and go, so when I think when she went over to him was when he was stroking Katie's hair. Mm. So she went over and she was like, So what? Is this what we're doing now? Like, mm. is this, is this is this a thing? thing? Mm. Is this a thing? Like the entire stood up and had his moment. Because yeah. we all know he was waiting for his moment. I'm single, you made me single. You made me do this. <laughs> A screaming match in the middle of the villa, Katie was just standing there. I think Ella even said, Why are you even entertaining this to Katie? Like, come on, like, what are you doing? So then, when Ella went to go and sit down, I think he now went to somebody. Who was it? No, I think, I think uh, Whitney and Catherine called him. Oh, no. yeah. yeah. they've done their little aunties talk, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, that was so yeah. yeah. told him to fix up yeah. and go yeah. sort things out with Ella. Like, it's enough, enough games now, sort things out, and he did. You know, he, he went to go and whoa, whoa. He, he went to go and have a talk, and he basically he basically admitted that he's playing a game, that he's trying to just get her upset, that he's not ready yet, he's not ready to yeah. forgive her yet. So 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 that, look, I'm, I'm, I'm going to forgive you, but I need to piss you off first. <laughs> so let me let me just piss you off, then I'll forgive you. Right. So and 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 I think that that's the reason. It's weird. Like I feel like I feel like Ella is happy to play along. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Because she she was like oh, she, she was like okay, so what do you want to do? And then he was like, well, I'm not going to lie to you. I need to get my own back before I come back to you. Mm. And she and she literally just sat there and was like, okay. Well, she didn't say okay, but it was more or less. Yeah. Because she, she didn't argue with it. So yeah. It's, I just think it's so weird. Like, it's this, I thought like that is beyond toxic to me. Yeah. yeah. That like, is. The fact that she's just playing along with everything and he is telling her what he's going to do as well. That's yeah. what's wrong with <laughs> like, Normally, this kind of thing, they don't let you know. They just do it. But yeah. it's like saying, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to piss you off. Then I'll let you know. Like It's like he's giving her the mm. script and she's just playing. And the off. problem is, because he's such a fuckboy, mm. he feels that as long as he's honest, yeah, then it's fine. Then it's fine. Mm. So we've got a super chat from Smith 
4108. Thank so you. Justice for Kay and all my fellow younger sisters out there. <laughs> Love you ladies and these lives. I am so happy y'all were late today. The midnight time works out great for us oh. Americans. Oh. We, 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 we kept on saying that the Americans are going to be happy that we're going to go at midnight. I mean, obviously, we won't always be at midnight, especially on weekdays, because, you know, every, yeah. we, we know that the London crew have got commitment, so staying up at midnight on a weekday is a lot. Mm. But, um, you know, obviously... Weekend starts from um, Friday. Friday, exactly. But when, when we've got promotions to do for our single and our music, obviously, unfortunately, we're going to have to start late because we've, we've got to work, you know? Mm. Um, but, yeah, so, yeah, so, so obviously, Ella and um, um, Ty are continuing their toxicity, so while they were having their toxic conversation, Jess was begging um, Sammy. Somebody's sorry, this comment is interesting. Somebody oh. said, majority of women have low self-esteem. Hmm? That's, that's an interesting comment. Could you, do you want to explain what you mean by that, yeah. please? Explain why you feel that the majority of women have low self-esteem. Sorry, Anna, go on. Yeah, um, I don't think the majority, I think- No, I, let, no let him yeah, explain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go on. Yeah. No, no, I was just gonna say a lot of beautiful women do, but mm. but that that's that needs to be unpacked. It's not a simple, yeah. it's not it's not that simple. But um yeah, so Jess um has her first conversation with Sammy, basically saying to Sammy, you know, basically what's going on, what are you do, mm. kind of a thing that, you know, this is the third girl you're bringing back that and then he was like, Oh, you know, basically you need to calm down, you need to be patient, you know, give me some um, time, give me some time. You know, she's only been there a couple of days. You know, at the end of the day, it's all about you. But Amber's here, and I need to give her some time. So just like a dickhead, walked away from that conversation into the diary room. Yeah, I know it's all about me, but he needs to tell her. Blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. So anyway, after that conversation, I think Jess went into the bedroom with oh. Ella, and Ella basically said to her, "Look." You need to have it out with Sammy. Mm. That if Sammy is not willing to focus on you, then you need to cut him off. Yeah. That stop allowing yourself to be second best. Mm. So <laughs> yeah. I just thought that was hilarious, though, the fact that it was Ella giving her this advice when it should be Ella taking that advice. Like, yeah, what? I mean, I, I tweet, I tweeted earlier that we, I think we've all been in that situation, not only in relationships but in life in general, where we give advice to people. And we don't actually follow that advice that we're giving. Mm -hmm. That we know the right thing to do. But, you know, it's easy to dish it out. But to actually practice it ourselves, we don't do it. And, and I think Ella, that conversation was a perfect example mm -hmm. of what people normally do. Ella, do Ella, as I say, not as I do. Yeah, yeah. And, and I think most human beings do that. Do you know what I mean? Ella knows that she's allowing Ty to take her for a dickhead. And she knows that she should pull back a little bit and allow him to chase. But... She's not following her own advice. Do you, so, uh, do you generally think she knows that's what she does? Yeah, I do. I do. I do. But I think that she's I think she's so desperate for Ty's approval that she thinks that if she backs off, he might back off too. The thing is, she doesn't want to give him that chance to, to leave her. Maybe, yeah. Right. She's scared of losing him. The thing is as well, there's that element of um power that, that Ty has as well in the house. Yeah. Because it, I don't know if you noticed today, but there was a conversation that Ty had with um Sammy. Sammy later on in the day, where it's like Sammy was like calling him like almost like I'm I need your advice. Yeah. Kind of and Sammy was basically telling him the situation with, with um Jess. Uh, Jess and he was like, look, go get your girl, bro. Da -da -da -da. High five. Thanks, Tyreek. Like it's almost like he came to get Tyreek's opinion see, and see the seal of approval. Yeah. Yeah. He's and it's interesting because Tyreek was the same person that was telling all the guys to mess about in in in, um, mm. in Casa Amor. So the power that Tyreek holds. Um, so what I'm saying is, is that do you think that that is what attracts Ella to him as well? The fact Maybe, that he, because um, you know there was that debate on on TikTok the other day where is your guy the leader or is he the one that the leader sends to the shop? Um, do you know, you know what I mean? Is he the one that the leader sends to the shop? <laughs> okay. I mean, I mean maybe, but don't forget, I feel like a lot of girls that are not from London. They're impressed by London guys. Mm. She's not from London, isn't it? She's mm. from what? She's from Scotland. Mm -hmm. Ty's got that whole, you know, rude boy, gangster, rough around the edges. Mm. Like, I feel like as a woman, if you haven't healed internally, you're going to find that attractive. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that is what she's attracted to. Because um, Uzi, I think today we saw how gentle and how mm -hmm. nice of a guy Uzi is. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that if you're somebody that hasn't healed, you're not going to be attracted to them. Yeah. You're not going to be attracted to the drama, the arguments, mm. 
the, the, the constant, it's like you're constantly living life on the edge. Mm, I'm missing the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that whole, you know what I mean? You're going to be attracted to that. And mm. I think that that's why she that's tired because she hasn't healed. Mm. And she met him before, remember? So who knows what happened back then? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so that's basically um, what that's about. But anyway, yeah, so... Um, yeah, so after that conversation... Okay, no, so that conversation that Sammy had with Ty, seeking Ty's approval, later. yeah, that happened later mm. because... Um, Jess went back to Sammy and basically gave him an ultimatum. Yeah. And basically said, you need to cut things off with Sammy. Mm. Sorry, um, Amber, 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 oh, I'm done. Mm. Even if she didn't mean a word of it. Well, she said it though. Yeah. Yeah. She said it and at the end of the day, it works, isn't it? So he, he basically cut things off with um, Sammy, cut things off with Amber. And then he now went to Jess and basically told Jess, yeah. I'm ready, basically. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see how long that lasts, because I'm sure, because they obviously they're going to bring in more bombshells, and <laughs> we already know that Sammy doesn't like Jess. He's just, he's just, he, it was almost like he was delaying it inevitable, because it's almost like he doesn't want to be with Jess, yeah. so Amber was, Amber was a distraction for him, mm -hmm. but it's like, because Jess put pressure on him, he was, he's forced to recapture with Jess, mm -hmm. but he's just, you can see, he doesn't want Jess. I don't the know. Know. He, he just wants to get to the final storyline and he knows that Jess, Jess is a favorite. Yeah. yeah. Look, agree, he, 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 he knew all along that he was going to go back to Jess, but he was just chilling, didn't he? He was enjoying mm. himself because he was being with someone that he actually does fancy. Mm. Yeah. So he was biding his tire, innit? And unfortunately, it was cut short because Jess brought the heat. Mm. Yeah. So he had, he had to cut it dead, innit? He don't, he don't like Jess. He don't. He, and I feel sorry for Jess because Jess is convinced. Mm. That, yeah, that, that Sammy is dying for her. She is convinced. <laughs> yeah. I mean, moving that comes when they list all of the things that she, he's been he saying about her. her. Yeah. Like, it's gonna be. Uh, do you know what upset me when she cried? Oh, yeah. and she it's said, of him, and she said to me or something. Like that. She goes, nothing goes right or something like yeah. she doesn't. Nothing ever works out for me. Yeah. yeah, I felt that you know. I really did. And that's the reason why she's so desperate because she she really wants to prove to herself something can go right. Yeah. Even if I twist his arm around his back and I force him, <laughs> it's gone right. But at the end of the day, listen, ladies, if you have to force someone to be with you, he's not for you. He's not for you. He's not, it's not meant to be. He's compromising. Do you know what I mean? At the end of the day, just like you choose him, you want him to choose you. Exactly. And at the end of the day, he's not choosing her. He's literally settling in for Jess because he wants to win or he wants to get to the final. Exactly. That's it. It's just like there's no other. And it's sad. It's sad because Jess, has convinced herself that Sammy likes her. Justice for Jess. Oh, no, yeah, I'll do that with him. Yeah. Anyway, I guess another thing. Let's get on to Catherine. So, okay, another super chat before we say that. So thank you so much, um, Kiki Newton, for a super chat. No message, but super chat. Oh, thank, thank you so you, much. Thank you. Appreciate Kiki. your support. Thank you. Yeah. So Scott pulled Catherine aside for another chat to basically tell her that the reason why he came at her, the way he came at her, is because he was just hurt, mm. and he, he just wanted to get her off his chest, and he didn't mean to say what he was saying, and he wished he told her how he felt yeah. before Casa Amor. But I think it's safe to say that Catherine is done with the situation, and like, she's mm. done with it. Like she, you can see, she, it was that conversation was irritating. Yeah. She, she didn't even want to have the conversation. Like it's kind of like. Yeah, you know, no regrets. Once, <laughs> once, once I say it's done, it's done, yeah. kind of a thing. So there's no, like, thank you for letting me know, but it's over. It's over, kind of a thing. And the thing is, yeah, when Catherine came in, she did say that she's never been in a relationship before. Yeah. And it's kind of like once she, like, she, she moved on very quickly. Like, it's kind of like, yeah, cutthroat, on to the next, kind of a thing. And that's obviously what she's done with, 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 um, What's his name? Scott. So yeah, yeah that, that I, conversation was 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 difficult to watch. Mm -hmm. I, I I think that's part of it, but it was interesting because Scott basically acknowledged that he was the one that kind of locked things off for Catherine. When Catherine came back from Casa Amor with Elon, Scott oh, basically Scott, yeah. Yeah. So basically, and that's Ty again. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Ty. He basically was following Ty because Ty told Ella, it's over. Sorry, that it's done. It's over, it's over. Scott did the same thing with Catherine. Yeah. But it's like Scott. He doesn't, he doesn't have the same game that because obviously um Ty saying that to Ella, it got a different response in it because Ella's begging it. Mm. But Catherine wasn't begging Scott. Mm. So Scott's now trying to backtrack and Catherine's like, well, you said what you said, didn't it? Mm. So mm. I, I'm I'm not, I'm not gonna change my mind now. So Ellis Ellis, I think because of Catherine's countenance, 
people are not are not actually listening to what Scott is saying. Scott actually said he admitted in that conversation yeah. that he, was, he was the one that called the thing yeah. off and he was hasty. It wasn't Catherine. You literally didn't even say that you regretted saying yeah. Yeah. At the But because of people's Catherine. hatred for Catherine, mm. they're not hearing that. Because when they came back, Catherine was like, look, I just want to get to know Ella Orman. At the end of the day, I want to get to know you. Like, yeah. Catherine didn't end it with him straight away. But he ended it. Yeah, he ended this it. He basically just... said there's no going back, there's no going back. And now she's regretting it. Because this is the problem. When the recoupling happened, yeah, she came in with a calm demeanour. She yeah. was actually calm. And it was when he said those words, oh, um, that that uh, situation around the fire pit, maybe it was aimed at the wrong person. Mm. That's when she switched. Yeah. yeah. Which is what I said yesterday. This is literally why Catherine just switched. On, on the spot. Mm, yeah. So, yeah, she obviously thought that she was going to be able to come in and get to know both of them and not have to make a decision there and then. Yeah. But obviously, Scott took it as, you know, he felt, you know, the same way as Ty was kind of like, you know, you're taking the piss mm. kind of thing, which I think most people would feel would incast out more if they themselves have a recoupled. Yeah. So, you know, so it is, it is what it is. Unfortunately for Scott, you know, he was hasty and, and, and it backfires because yeah. Catherine's. She's made up her mind, didn't it? Like, mm. She's focusing on Elon. So he, he just, he's moved on to uh, Amber anyway, from looks of it. Uh, yeah, there was something brewing there. Yeah. I mean, they might do it out of convenience, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, anyway, thank you for the super chat. HRH Nana, oh, one of our Nana, regulars. Hey, thank you so much, Nana. She said, Ty definitely wants the 50K. Jess making, it, making herself a side chick, slay, stroke slay queen. Ella behaving like she's not seen a fuckboy before. Whitney and Kath are my girls for life. Hashtag. Oh, hashtag Thank love. you so much. Thank you. Nana, we appreciate your support. You're here every night and we love you for that. Yeah. Thank you. But um, yeah, ev everything you said is facts. Everything you said is facts. The way Jess is going on, she's definitely making herself a side chick. And it's sad because sh she's too good for Sammy. Yeah. And she doesn't realize like it. Yeah. I would have preferred her to stay with Mitch, you know? They definitely would have. Um, but she doesn't, she, she doesn't fancy him. Yeah, 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 but it's a friendship. She played yeah. the game. Yeah, she yeah. Easily yeah. won with Mitch. So anyway, I, I guess um, right. Well, someone's saying just because Catherine is black, it doesn't mean I have to support her. She was wrong. <sighs> Where do we start? Let's not. No, I think we should because we've seen a couple of things that are trending right now on Twitter. Where you know, obviously, we spoke about it yesterday about people being careful, especially black Twitter being careful about the kind of things that they say about the black contestants on the kind of hate that they put out online. So, so, so let's let's talk about Catherine's interaction with Scott today, yeah. right? Um, this the interaction showed me that Catherine, she, her communication skills are not good. Mm. They're, they're they're not great. They're not great. She's definitely that kind of person that if she's in an argument or a confrontation, she'll walk away or she'll be quiet, yeah. which will wind that other person up even more. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because when Scott was talking, she was kind of like, okay, yeah, cool, whatever, like, yeah, yeah, great, great. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Happy for you. Kind of, like, it was almost like, she wanted, yeah, she wanted yeah, to yeah. end She it. wanted to leave, do you know what yeah. I mean? Because she was feeling uncomfortable. And um, I could see that. But obviously, as she gets older, she'll realise that that kind of behaviour, it it, it's not translated well. Like, it comes across like you're being a bit rude and dismissive, mm -hmm. you know? And that was kind of how it came across. But that being said, justice for Catherine. Like, I'm still going to support her 10 times down because at the end of the day, our mantra has always been Fiat 500 support their people regardless of what they do so why do we put conditions on when we support ours yeah because the thing is if I, I feel like two things can be true at once right you can you can call out people's negativity call out things that they should have done better call out you know maybe make suggestions on how they can you know grow and develop into better people and don't forget a lot of these people are like 21 22 23 like mm. these people are really young like mm. they're literally being put under a magnifying glass and they're dealing with really complex situations that are unnatural. So, and especially like Shay said, like, Catherine, you can see her communication, especially when it comes to conflict, it's not good. Mm -hmm. She's the kind of person that just avoids conflict. Mm -hmm. So when she's put in a situation, like, like when Scott wanted to call that meeting, she was literally begging Scott, mm -hmm. don't call the meeting, don't call the meeting. You, you have the conversation with the boys and leave the girls out of it. Like you can see she didn't want to be there mm -hmm. because with her, Confrontation obviously makes her feel uncomfortable, and when she's in confrontation, she loses her voice. Mm. So it's almost like I don't want to have this because I don't know how to deal with it. And then, but to other people watching it, they're not looking at it as, as, as oh, she's uncomfortable, she doesn't know how to behave. They're looking at it as oh, a black girl rude of her attitude. That's what they're looking at. 
They're not giving her that grace. And like Shay said, as she gets older, she'll develop, you know, better communication skills and she'll understand, look, unfortunately, as a black woman, I'm judged more harshly and I'm not given that grace. So because of that, I need to be aware of my surroundings and I need to be more aware of how people are going to perceive X, Y, and Z. Do you know what I mean? Like there was a time when Ella was upset and Whitney again today said, look, we don't do this. Yeah. Mm. Whitney checked, chill. She checked Ella and she told Ella to chill. Mm. And she said to Ella, if you're going to go and check Tari, do it properly. Mm. Calm down. And do, do you know what I mean? So not everybody has done the work and not everybody knows I need to, unfortunately, I need to play respectability politics. Whitney, as Whitney understands very well, if you check what, what Whitney has had to put up with throughout this whole season, Whitney understands very well. Do you think it's because Whitney's a business owner as well? That might be why she's kind of a little bit more clued on because she would have to, there's going to have to be a lot of times when you're a businesswoman yeah. that you would have to, you've got, you've got to, you know what I mean, bite mm. your tongue and just, just to get the result that you want. Do you know what I mean? I don't, I don't know if that's what it is. Cause How we, old is she? Because I think Whitney's 25. 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25 yeah. or 26. She's got so, a couple years. Yeah, so she's got a little bit more years, but I think it's more to do with her experience. Mm. She just comes across as a woman that's very experienced. It might be that, because obviously running your own business is going gonna, is gonna to kind of like make, force you to develop a certain level of maturity very mm. quickly. So I definitely think it's part of it. But then when we spoke to India, India was what, 20... Two, 20, 20, 22 or 23. Yeah, yeah so quite in, young, India yeah. was younger than Whitney, but India, again, like, she speaking, was speaking to India, India was very clued up. Yeah. India was very aware. So I just think that everybody matures at different levels mm. and everybody steps into their black queendom at different stages in their mm. life. And I just think that when Catherine watches a lot of this back, mm. I think she herself, I think it's going to click. Mm. But I think when you're in it, it's difficult to actually, and also, well, don't forget, Whitney lives in London. Mm. And I do think our experiences living in London are different to people that live, don't live in London. It's possible. Oh, yeah. I don't know, it's possible. But then, because she's, uh, she's in Ireland, right? Yeah. Yeah, she might, she, she might not be in a village. Like, she might probably she, Yeah, I, I feel like she probably experiences it more then. Mm. My no, I just, yeah, no, I just, what like, I mean, what I mean is, I feel like, I feel like woke culture mm. is more of a thing in like London. Mm. And I don't know if it's because London is almost like everything starts from London and then it moves and then it like filters out. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So mm. it just feels like people from London are a little bit more, even the white people in London, it just feels like they're a little bit more aware, aware of what's yeah. going on. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So, and. Yeah, so, so I'm not saying that people don't know what's up. I'm just saying how I feel like when you grow up in London, your experience is a little bit different. Mm. Yeah, no, I agree. And we're just a little bit more further ahead yeah. when it comes to certain things. So, so um, as you said, when Catherine comes out, she will, she will she will watch it, and I think that you know she she will have a better understanding of her perception. But anyway, I started this off by saying that we've noticed that obviously there's been a lot of negativity on Twitter with people dragging Catherine, saying that Catherine needs to get out of the house. Yeah, all right, yeah, we're happy for you. Fan love, now get out. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. And, and I asked the question, why did she need to get out? Ask her in the comments. If, if any of you are those people that are saying that Catherine needs to get out, can you explain to us why? Because isn't the point of the show to find love and win the, win the money? The best couple wins the money. Oh, oh, so oh, why do you have Why should Catherine leave and Molly and Zach don't have to leave? Exactly. Molly and Zach oh, or Montel oh. Aaliyah or, or Sammy. So, so we just want to know, like, just let us know, please. Enlighten us. Yeah. Sammy should take Why did she, yeah, people, it's like people are literally, I posted a thread yesterday, I put a, a video of Catherine and Elon basically sitting on a bed when Catherine was wearing that white dress. Mm. And literally nearly every single comment was, oh, yeah, yeah, mm, 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 get out. And then the, I had about, I've got about 500 quotes. Mm. And most of those quotes are basically telling Catherine to get out. Now that leads me on to, we've seen a couple of like major brands also saying, bye, Catherine. Get out, Catherine. And for me, I just feel like mm. I, I feel like it's a bit dangerous. Yeah, it I mean, is. for a major brand to yeah. be, I feel like it's it's dangerous. Giving their opinion like that is a bit ridiculous. Like, come on, guys. Like, we need to kind of leave it to public vote and stop trying to sway things. I think when major brands are making comments, it's, it can definitely sway the public vote. 
So I think we need to be, we've said this before. I remember in previous seasons where other brands were kind of making comments and we said it before, like, it's not fair. Like, why would, like, it's mm. like you're swaying the vote. Like, so for us, you know, for me, I don't think it's cool. I'm still trying to see what Catherine has done to garner the kinds of response that she's received. You know, she literally, she when she went into the house, she was 22. She just turned 23. Like, she's still, she's literally still a kid. Apparently, she's not being death threats. Yeah, she is crazy. So, yeah, so, so, so Catherine's sister has messaged us a few times. And obviously, you know, you know, we're, we're, we're trying to be as supportive as we can. But obviously, you know, she's her sister, isn't it? So <laughs> there's not really any, seeing your family member being dragged online daily mm. and being sent death threats, like, there's only so much we can say to her. Do you know what I mean? So it, it's like, pe people's real lives are being affected by this. Mm. So I'm, I, I'm not saying that anybody has to like Catherine. I'm not saying that you have to support her. I'm just saying that how, be mindful of the kind of things that you're saying. Because these these are people's real lives, and I don't think it's cool. Yeah, I just don't think it's cool. So, so how did you guys feel about Scott calling Catherine again? Then, like, to basically. Oh, hold on! I just, I just want to thank uh, Nana super chat. Oh, hey, Charlie, Nana, one. thank you so much, Nana. Yeah, she mentioned the the brands, um, basically okay. twin Same. Catherine. Yeah, and we've addressed um, it. So, yeah. thanks, thanks, thank you, Nana. Thank you. So, how do you feel about Scott then calling Catherine again and basically saying, "I think I made a mistake." <sighs> I feel like he tried it because it's the storyline, isn't it? Because mm. right now he ain't got no one. So maybe the producers, I, I don't know, maybe the producers told him, just go and try your luck. You never know. I don't know. I don't think the producers said it. I think he regretted it. Mm. I think he regretted it. He's, he's, he's seen, even though he's, he was following Tyreek, he's seen Tyreek go back to Ella. Go back to Ella after oh. dragging her. After, after pulling the whole, whole house down, then he's setting the whole house on fire, and now you look back together. So obviously he's thinking, ah, oh. so me, I threw, I threw. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because if, he, if Scott had said to Catherine after the recoupling, look, I get it. I, I get that you want to explore. explore. You know, at the end of the day, I still like you. And I'm here, I'm here when you're ready. Mm. The same thing she said to him yeah. when he was getting to know Leah and he was getting to know Katie. Mm. So if, if he, you know, but, but I understand that Casa Amor is a very stressful and very emotional experience. So I understand that it can't be easy. For somebody to do that, mm. do you know what I mean? But unfortunately for him, it backfired. It backfired yeah. So, you know, um, yeah. So what happened next? Oh. <laughs> you know, what, what were you even up to? Uh, we weren't even going in order. Yeah, Literally we weren't going in order. Yeah. Um, okay, okay. So, so, so Ty basically. Oh, okay. oh, talks to Zach and Montel. Is that the one you're talking about? I was just going to say that he got back with um. He basically Ella. said, "Oh, look, Ella suffered enough." I'm gonna go and talk to you now. I've never felt like this before. This is, is a new, this is a new feeling for me. Just Ella, look into my eyes. Can't you see my eyes? I'm showing that it's genuine. It's just, yeah. So you know, at the end of the day, guys, you know, I, 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 I do think that um, Tyreek likes Ella, but I do. But I think he wants to win the game more than he likes Ella. Oh, yeah. yeah, you know, and I think that when they leave the house, it's gonna be. Ekansu and Davide part two. Mm. That's what I think. I, I don't think it's gonna last. I think I think you know with all the with all the pussy and everything being thrown at Tyreek. Mm. Like I just no, I'm just saying that he's gonna either pick up a bunch when he leaves the house. Yeah. So, you know, I just I just think that once they get a couple of deals under their belt, I feel like Tyreek will be off. It's not gonna last. Yeah, unfortunately. Tyreek is not ready. He's not ready. Do you know you what I mean? Says he is. Yeah. That she's changed him. He's he's saying it because he wants to win. That's it. what I mean. He's yeah, saying all, all, the he, words, all these things he's saying. He's not saying it for Ella. He's saying it for you lot watching. Yeah, and, and you, he's saying and it for you lot are sucking it up. Because Ella, Ella, look how Ella's face lights up as soon yeah, as he says those words. He could, he could literally, he could literally sing, fart the alphabet, and Ella would be smiling. Do you know what I mean? He's all of this. He's saying. He's saying it, and he's looking into the camera while he's saying it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. You know, at the end of the day, you know, Ella's forgiven him. They're back together. And, um, yeah, so let's see what happens. I think at the end, do they show oh, we didn't movie that? Oh, oh. Uh, what's her face? Oh, the Molly, um, and Molly and Zach going to, to, um, the, to the hideaway. Did you guys really love it? Because I was emotional. I felt it. All I can say is just, just keep on complaining to Ofcom. Because we need, <laughs> yeah, we, we need them out. Please, we need them out. We need them out. I'm sorry, I've had enough. What was that? Oh, I was cringe. It was seemed so cringe. Like nobody cares. And then at the end, I think he was like, 
I'm, I'm just really hoping he goes, I really like that. That is literally, that's the usual script. They've only got three or four lines on the page, which I really, I really I like. I really like that. I was surprised. You were surprised. I never knew. Really you never like knew. You look good like that. Yeah. I can't do it. No, anymore. today he said, you look insane. Is that what he said? You look insane. Uh, oh, you, oh, oh, you look ridiculous. That's it. You look ridiculous. Right. You look ridiculous. Oh she was like, guys, just keep, just keep complaining to us. Right now, there are 400 complaints. We need to get out of our We need to get out of our thousand. I use all my devices. Yeah, we need to get out. Seriously, we need them out. Yeah. We need them out. But I think at the end, did they show the movie nothing? Is that what they yeah. showed? Yeah. yeah. The movie nothing. Oh, oh, Lord, have mercy. They were saying they're showing movie nights on Sunday. So, who do you think is going to be the casualties of movie night? Do you know what? Everyone's been a bit shady this this um, Yeah, but, Ty, but realistically, who do you think is going to be a casual? Ty will, but he's not a casual. Ty how? Because uh, Ty was telling all the guys to go and snob people, like literally. Mm -hmm. They're all scared that's, of him. They're not going to care. That's, that's no, but the women will. The women nah. will be pissed off. Nah. Really? Don't, don't, I don't think so. They, they already know that. They already know that all the guys are followers. I think the only, I think, I think Ella will, will feel it because of all the things that she was saying about Ty to, um, what's his name? But what did she say? I want a man, not a boy. Yeah, she must have said, I want a man, not a boy. You're doing all the things that Ty wouldn't do. Basically, mm -hmm. make me number oh. one. No, she said a lot of things. They, they, they weren't rude, but I don't think Ty's going to like I it. I feel like she said all of that to him already. But I think the problem is, is that you're saying it to somebody else. That's, That's what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, Ty, 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 Ty will use not, that against her. Yeah, yeah, it's not anything she ever before. Yeah, ever before. Um, I, think, I, don't, I mean, yeah, like, or maybe like Catherine basically saying that she's better suited to Scott because she didn't say anything better suited to Ellen. Better suited to yeah. Ellen because she yeah. never said anything negative. She, Ella's getting massages from her as well. Yeah, the rubbing on the back and, and the, back. Kiss, the kiss in the bed. Oh. And then obviously Montel, because Montel was from, they were doing a lot more. Yeah. There's a lot of movement. Montel's finger and drone was working her magic. Montel's finger in Tinkerbell. Yeah. So, yeah. right. Thank you for this. Um, the Snapchat, oh. Smith. The Super Chat. Um, super Chat, sorry. I tried to do an Ofcom complaint, but they wanted a UK address. <laughs> <laughs> use Google. Google. Use Google. Use Google. Yeah, just make one up. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Yeah, so um okay, so so Montel finger and tink under the bed. Exactly. Um who else? I think I think that was it. Um they're the main was there really I feel like everyone else was kind of was pretty well behaved. Yeah, yeah, nothing nothing else really happened. Even Catherine, the way you lot are dragging her, I, I I'm trying to think of what they can show because she didn't really do anything. And she and also told she, Scott. Maybe she said she said she kissed him. him. So, so what else? Yeah. She showed him. I don't know. Yeah, I, I I don't think moving that is gonna be that big a deal to be honest. Mm. I, I don't think it will. I think it's gonna be mainly moving that is mainly gonna be Sammy, yes. Sammy and Jess. Yeah. Because Sammy has been dragging Jess since the beginning. Yeah. So it's gonna be them mainly. Because mm. it's not only Casa Amor things that they show, really. Don't they show everything? Or is it just Casa Amor? They show everything. Uh, it's not no, only it's Casa Amor, they show everything. everything. Maybe Zach as well, Zach and Molly. They might what, show what? all the things that Zach was saying to Katie about oh, how much he likes and her. To, and, oh, but, but didn't she watch it? Oh, she yeah, did find it. Listen, at the end of the day, Molly ain't got no storyline, so she'll, she'll be like, she's upset for like 30 seconds and then she'll get over it. Mm. Then Molly, you know what I mean? Molly's just there. I don't even know what she's there for. Oh, get her the fuck out. Get, get her fucking, and Zach out. Yeah. Get them out. At the end of the day, it's unfair. I feel sorry. For, I can't believe I'm saying this. I feel sorry for Zach because it's almost like he was forced to recouple yeah, with Molly. So it's almost like he's a casualty of his whole thing. Mm. Do you know what I mean? But he unfortunately, was they need to leave. Mm. They need to leave. He was having a whale of a time before she arrived. Yeah. Yeah. You saw his face, just the blood just left his yeah. face as soon as he saw her. Yeah. Okay. So basically, Sunday, I definitely think they're going to do a public vote on Sunday. I definitely think they will do it. After, after moving out, I definitely think they will do a public yeah, vote. Sunday, yeah. So, yeah, so let's see. So, so guys, if they do a public vote, um, we, we know who everyone's going to say. Because, because obviously, they're going to say, they're, they're probably going to say vote to save. Mm. That's probably what they're going to do. Mm. How do they normally do it? They, do they it. either do vote to save or, or who's your most, who's your favourite yeah. or whatever. So it depends on what they do. But I think they're going to do Vote to Save. Mm -hmm. So guys, if they do Vote to Save on Sunday, who are you going to save? Who are you going to save? Let us know. As in couple or Yeah, couple. What, I think they're going to do couples. I think obviously if people say Whitney. Yeah, Whitney, yeah. Uh, so, Jasmine. yeah, um, look, on. look on. Yeah, so guys, if they do Vote to Save, let us know who you're going to Vote to Save. That'll be interesting to see. Guys, there's 400 of you in this video. Can you like this video, please? There's 400 of you in the chat. Can you give us some likes? We need some thumbs up, guys. Let's thumbs up the video so we can push the algorithm. We really appreciate you. Good. Um, yeah, see you. Yeah. Yeah. 
All right, guys, so I think that's it. I don't think anything else happens. Uh, no. No, anything, nothing else <laughs> memorable what happens. So I say, apart from the shot of Catherine and Wick sitting on the bench with their bikinis. Like, oh. That blue bikini, that blue swimming costume on, on them, Whitney. Yeah. Oh. And then when Ella oh. came and joined them. Yeah. Oh. Oh. They're, they're, they're so just beautiful. Gorgeous. And then, you know, another bit that was cute when um, Jess went back to them to report. Yeah. And then they were high-fiving Jess. <laughs> I love, do you know what I love just with them girls? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I, love, yeah, I just want her to suit. I just want somebody out. Yeah. I just want her to find someone. Okay, okay. Them. Somebody mentioned, what do we think about KD and Uzi? Well, Uzi's desperate to stay in the house now. Yeah. Right? I, I, think, I think Uzi is cute. I think I, I really, really, like when Uzi was sitting there, he's so beautiful. He's so Sorry, no, when the shot of Uzi and Ella, when Ella was telling Uzi yeah. and he was topless, and he had the hat on. Yeah. When he wears that hat, yeah. He's yeah. he's really he's he really up. really attractive. He's yeah. such a beautiful man. Yeah. No, uh, you know, obviously Katie's excited, isn't it? She 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 he was one of her favorites. Yeah. So, and he just wants a, an opportunity to stay longer. Yeah. He knows that uh, Ella's she's gone now, isn't yeah. it? So next best thing, well not best thing, but next thing is Katie. I mean, he made a fair point though. What? When he said that they're, they're around the same age and they, and they've kind of got the same vision, Goals, yeah. they've kind of got the same goals. So why don't they explore it? So, you know, he, he, he wasn't sleazy. I, I think he came across really cute. He did. I, 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 I really like, like him. He's very gentle. Mm. He's very gentle. I hope he stays in longer. Yeah. So let's see how that happens, you know. Um, see what happens with that. Emoji. Right. Emoji. Oh. Oh. Okay, wait. Who, who stood out in this? Episode? Obviously, Ty and Ella. I don't want to do him. Um, Jess, Jess and, and Sammy. Sammy. Do teeth. Oh, no, we're done to. We're done to. Do curtains. There's curtains. There's curtains. Actual curtains. Yeah. <laughs> is there actual curtains? I don't think there is. Yeah. Um, that's it, isn't it? What else happens? Just uh, maybe just do something for Ella. Oh, do you know what, guys? I told you. Oh, something for Ella. I was gonna say maybe oh. do a window. You can't do curtains. A window is the best. It's the next so thing. Random. Oh. So guys, the, wind, the, the window symbolize, symbolize, symbolizes Sammy's hair. Mm. Symbolize. Is there, someone said bobby pins. If they had the bobby pins. I don't think no, there's, there's a paper clip though. Do no, the paper, no, do no, paper, paper clip. <laughs> yeah, we'll do a paper clip. We'll do a paper clip for Sammy. So a wind, with a window for Sammy and a paper clip for Uzi. Uzi. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in. So we'll be back on live on Sunday after Sunday's oh. episode. So I will post a link to the live soon i'll probably post it tomorrow so that you guys have got you know when the premiere is coming on mm -hmm. but thank you so much for tuning in thank you thank put you the, put the, make sure you put the emojis on the main, on the main video, video guys. thank you for the super chats guys yeah, we appreciate you so guys if you like this video give us a thumbs up comment and subscribe and hit that notification button because if you miss it you, you miss, miss it, it. Toodles. okay our producer isn't here so i'm gonna have to get up mm. go on and my talk 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 talk